All right, kids, we're going to do question 25. They want us to put it in graphing form and state the vertex. Okay, if you watched the video yesterday um, or maybe earlier today, all you do is you take your function and you set it equal to zero. We're going to create a perfect square. Now, uh, I could tell this right here is already a perfect square right here, but let's just see what happens. Subtract 9 on both sides. And then you'll notice how I left that blank space because I'm going to add something there and I got to add something there. What is that something? It's half of 6 is 3, 3 squared is 9, goes on both sides. So then I have, oops, all you do is bring down the x, bring down the sine half of 6 is 3, you square it equals zero. So now there's really nothing. I mean, you could subtract zero on both sides, but that's not going to do anything. So my function is f of x equals x plus 3 squared. That is graphing form. What's the vertex? Remember, it's the opposite sign of positive 3, so it's negative 3, and there's nothing over here, so it's negative 3, 0 would be my vertex. Let's do one more. All right, so again, start by setting the function equal to zero let's subtract one on both sides x squared plus six x let's just do plus something equals negative one plus something so you could do that now that you're getting good half of six three three squared is nine bring down the x bring down that plus sign that plus sign right there half of six is three squared equals eight now we subtract eight and my function is g of x equals x plus 3 squared minus 8. Oh, it's the same as the, the first one, only we're shifting it down negative 8. Shifting it down 8. So I'm hoping you're understanding this shift as we go along. Anyhow, what's the vertex? You guessed it. Opposite sign of that. So negative 3, negative 8. Now take a break.